Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 49 of our Forest Green save. Uh, this is the winter transfer window update and our matches for today. Just a quick recap of how things have been going. Last episode, of course, was the 4-0 and 6-0 wins over Villa and West Brom, respectively. You really need to go see that video if you have not seen it. Completely unexpected. Uh, Newcastle, 4-3 winners, Ignacio La Quintana with a hat trick in 23 minutes. He was stellar, and they scored the game winner in the 89th minute. Ten minutes after they went a man down, I was not expecting that, and so I did not shore up my defenses as I normally would. Uh, then, uh, yeah... Just not in the group with that those guys. 5-1 uh, loss to Tottenham. Uh, Bilotti with a goal for us. Hat trick to Eduardo Luiz. But then we beat Southampton 4-1. Rogerio with a first-minute goal. Gavin Hamilton got, uh, got back on the pitch in relief and got a brace. And Craig Mitchell found the goal late for icing on the cake or cherry on the sundae or whatever. And then we beat West Brom again, not as big as our 6-0 win, but a 1-0 defeat, Aaron Collins with the game winner. And then we shocked Man City in the FA Cup fourth round, 3-1. Not sure if they had their best squad out there, but that's okay. Bilotti, Craig Mitchell, and Ids with the first half goals. They got one back in the 87th minute from Morgan Rogers. Uh, we were only expected to make it to the fourth round, so we will be playing Middlesbrough or Tottenham in the fifth round. Yeah, I'm assuming it'll be Tottenham, and I'm assuming Tottenham will destroy us. Uh, so our FA Cup will come to an end. But not a bad run. We have, you know, it, going back to the Everton game on December 4th, December and January have been pretty good to us. Only three losses in the league. And we have picked up 18 points in wins plus a draw. So taking a look at the competition, we are 8th position, 33 points from 24 matches. The top 6 are definitely opening up a little bit of a gap. Now it's uh, 12 points instead of the 6 that we had. But that's okay. I'm... I'm okay with that. Uh, as I may or may not have mentioned, uh, we did get the request from the board to update our expectations if we wanted to. So we did change it from battle to avoid that to that we would avoid relegation. Didn't give us any more transfer budget. Did give us a little bit more in salary. And taking a look, Ids has eight goals, a 7.24 rating, and seven assists to definitely be the leader in the clubhouse for our player of the season. And I think we are doing really good. Uh, we are currently 15 points above Brighton for relegation. So that's good. That's five, five whole matches for them to have to catch us. Let's jump into transfers now that you're caught up to date on games. A uh, couple of things going on. Leighton Stewart, don't forget, he's leaving here in a, in about a week and a half uh, to join Toronto over in the MLS for $1.7 million. Uh, we have signed Barry Coffey from Celtic, but he will be an end-of-contract midfielder. Uh, taking a look at him, three-star current, four-star potential. What I really liked was some of the scouting reports. Off the ball movement and decisions make him a, an intelligent player. He has the ability to spot a pass and create chances. I think he could be a huge addition for next season. And I really wish we had more time that we could play with him uh, under uh, on the roster. But taking a look at the history itself in the window, uh, going back to January 1st. So Matteo Gasafi, he goes out to Larn for 200000 Uh Just wasn't really going to cut it for us. We had signed him on a free out of the uh, Cremones uh, system after they released him, and he never played for us, never went out on loan. So we've moved him on for a slight profit, and uh, you know he was just never going to be good enough to make our squad now. 
One move that I was not anticipating making, and it was the biggest move in the window, uh, Abdu Diakati goes to Watford for $4.7 million. Honestly, he was just a an average midfielder. He was third, fourth option for us. But I had started to play him. Taking a look here, we had started him in five matches. He was playing a 7-5-2 for us with, uh, with one assist and one yellow card. But he was doing really well, and we were seeing some success. A lot of those positive uh, games that we had uh, down the stretch that we just looked at, he was on the pitch as a starter. So I hope that doesn't backfire on us. But we got the offer for $4.7 million, which was his value. He was three-star max potential, and he was already maxed out. So he wasn't going to get any better. And so I went ahead and took the money and hope that we could use that to fund some other moves. Leighton Clarkson goes to Larn as well for 275000 Again, he was he was a guy that we brought in a uh, couple of uh, last year, I think, for five hundred and fifty. So we do take a little bit of a bath with him, but again, he just never really played for us. Three games off the bench last year, uh, went out on loan to Shrewsbury, and he had uh, one league match. Played well, nine uh, a nine rating, uh, a nine tackles, eighty six percent pass rating. He was he was honestly good enough. He was never going to be great. So we went ahead and moved him, got a little bit of money. O'Dane Henry, we got a loan deal for him with Bristol for 100% of his salary. Alex Palmer, our goalkeeper from past history, uh, he goes off for $500,000 to Stoke. Not a bad profit. We did sign him for $45,000 back in the championship. He did the job. He got us promoted. But once we got promoted, uh, we put him in the shop window for one game. He gave up four goals. He did put up a 7.1 rating. I don't know how that works, giving up four goals. That was in that 4-3 to three loss. So maybe with our starter, we would have won that game. But uh, we pick up a half a million for him. And uh, Ferend Rawson, he goes off to Seoul, Korea, $3.8 million. Uh, Seoul, South Korea, sorry. Uh I didn't want to trade him, but you can see he's only rated a 38 for us now, although I think he was he played better than that. He came to me and said, you know, look, I think I've accomplished everything I can here, and I really want to leave. And I, he's been a good servant to the club, and, I, and he was one of our three team leaders. And I went, you know, if that's what you want, I said, I'm happy to keep you here. He was on a million... 1.03 million a year. But I said, if you want to leave, I will let you go if I can get a good deal. Uh, we had gotten a deal earlier in the window and he rejected the, the contract, but he took this one. We pick up 3.8 million and uh, move him on. And then uh, that was in the works, but it was a transfer deadline day deal that Seoul came in. The rest of these, once I moved him and I made a couple of other signings, I said, oh, let me see what I can, you know, let me move some out because I needed to free up some salary in the salary cap. Gareth Swatridge goes off to Sheffield United for a half a million. Liam Lin, he was our third choice left back. Liam Lindsay was a fifth or sixth choice center back. I thought he had some potential, just was never going to really break through. He goes to Larn for 210. I guess they've become a, our, our, our feeder club. And Robbie McKenzie goes to Grimsby on loan. They pick up 100% of his salary. So that brings us to 15 and a quarter million dollars, a record transfer year for the club. Jumping over to the incomes. So we had already looked at Elias Gerard. Uh, we bring him in from Standard Liège for 700,000. He's in the mix as one of our top four keepers, but he's 18 years old. So he's going to be third or fourth choice. He does have some potential, but will not be featuring this year, probably not next year. Uh, we did know Leighton Stewart is going out in February, uh, and we sold him for, uh, I guess because it hasn't hit yet, 2.7 million. 
would have liked to have kept him. But uh, so I knew we needed a, a striker. So we had signed Almany Kamara from Watford for one hundred eighty thousand. I think he's got some potential, three and a half star. So he's now joined us. Fifteen finishing. I'm anxious to see what he can do. Uh, and I don't believe. Yeah, he's playing an eight seven seven with five goals and four appearances non in in uh, in the youth uh, for the youth team. So I'm anxious to see what he can do. Uh, Mads Bitstrup uh, comes to us from Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, he takes uh, the place in central mid with Diacati leaving, four hundred seventy five thousand. He was on an end of contract, so they had him up. We signed him for next year because we didn't want to pay what they wanted to get him this year because you can see he's valued at 4.2. Once we signed him, then they said they would sell him to us immediately for 475000 We figured that was a no-brainer. So we pick him up, uh, three-and-a-half star potential, two-and-a-half star current. Uh, he can play the uh, deep-lying playmaker. He can play the box-to-box. -box. Not much in the way of finishing, so I think that deep-lying is his spot. And he hits all the things there. Balance, his physicals are a little low. He's 23. Hopefully he can strengthen up a little bit. But, uh, hey, we'll see uh, what he can do. Uh, so he joins the club immediately. And then with Ross and leaving and then these two guys coming in, we got rid of Lindsay. So you can see we dropped uh, about $3.5 million on two center backs. Gabrielle Corbo, 25-year-old Italian and he has five U21 appearances for the Italy youth team. Three-star current, four-star potential. Uh, Ball-playing defender. He can also play uh, central defender. And he does have passing ability. So this might be a guy that we can start to transition into a ball-playing back line. Maybe. Because right now we've got everybody as central defend because nobody could pass. You know, they were all 10 or worse. Six foot one, 167 pounds, good strength, pace, acceleration, physicals. His mentals are off the chart. Decision making, composure, vision, positioning. If we take a look at the coach summary, uh, sporting attitude, fair amount of speed, ability to be in the right place at the right time, physical player. Can play a couple of positions. Um, not sure we'll see him move up into that defensive mid. We're not playing that a lot, but uh, not bad. And he is valued at $7.5 million, so we did get a value deal on him. And then we got a deal from uh, Olympic Leon for Strahinja Pavlovich, 950000 Again, he's a six foot four back, very strong, physicals through the roof. Passing, not so much, so he's going to be more of a no-nonsense or central defender. Reminds me a lot of Rawson. A little bit more potential to grow into. 23-year-old Belgian with six international appearances for Belgium, but 14, 14, 12 ratings in those uh, technical slots. He looks, positioning is great, decision-making is good, jumping is excellent, as is strength. Pace isn't the greatest, but it's still solid. Acceleration's there as well. Uh, marks opponent tightly, avoids using weaker foot, does not dive into tackles, refrains from taking long shots. So not bad traits, I guess. I mean, and I mark tightly anyway. So uh, he is a left footer. So this he, he projects to maybe slot over into that left side. If we take a look at our depth chart, uh, McGinley is still the number one guy there. Pavlovich is in line with him. So let's do a quick comparison with McGinley. Honestly, it's pretty even. McGinley's got a little bit more speed, but Pavlovich may have the edge. May have the edge. Now, if we also look at McGinley... He's not a horrible crosser of the ball. He doesn't have flair, passing, dribbling. Really, crossing is his only weakness, but he can pass decently. So we might, that gives us another option out on the left, especially with, uh, especially with Swatridge leaving. So we needed somebody else over there for depth. 
So we may see him in the starting roster. So let's get to today's match. We're playing Sheffield United. Uh, we are on the road, but we are favored. So we are going to go back up to balanced here. I want to put Lowry on the bench. Let's put Lowry on for McGinnis. I want Collins up there with Ids. You can see Gerard has now gotten the deputy duties in goal. And Vieira's playing... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's give Lowry the start here. And we'll pair him up with Downs. We do have Hamilton to go up top. Uh, we have um, Kinsevich to go there. And he's really good, but... You know, just... I want to try some of these other guys out to see if we can get things built up. Also, we have asked the board to uh, improve the training facilities again, which should bring us to uh, to the top level because we're currently four star. And we've also asked them to upgrade the tra uh, youth facilities, and that should bring that up to a three three star or four star, I believe. All right, ask for some creativity. Lowry's on an early yellow. Good ball in. Headed out. Oh, he missed it. That could be dangerous. Who was that that missed it? Downs. Ugh. Oh, good tackle by Wharton to get it out of there. Three people chasing down. Come on, boys. Oh. Yep, everybody's on central defend. Just wanted to make sure. Another tackle goes right to their player. There's the cross to the back post. Bob Ellison puts in his third. Wissa with the assist, and that is not... A good start for us. We played some good defense in there. Boy, they really picked out their battles. Uh, you know what? They're playing three up top, aren't they? I'm going to drop here. I'm going to move, switch those two guys around. That gives us just another person dropping deep into defense to help defend those three guys up top. There's a cross, nobody home. All right, there we go. Now we're now we're in our tactic. Uh, get creative. Oh, good header down. Mitchell. Been looking for some openings. Reverses field out to Mitchell. He's got an overlap, but he cuts inside of him and brings it into the box. Takes a ping at the near post. Puts it into the side netting. Not a bad run. And he's looking nervous. Let's, uh, let's ask him to calm down. There's a cross back post. It's there. And Ids puts it in for his 10th of the season. Craig Mitchell with the assist. And that's a big equalizer. Big equalizer for us. All right. La Quintana into the box. Back post from McGinley goes high. We miss an opportunity there. All right. They are uninterested. Let's show some passion. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Pretty evenly matched. I think the tactic has held up. Um, I tell you what. I've given Lowry the run. I want to pull him off for Vieira. Yeah, I think so. Vieira's more of a natural defensive mid. I think that solidifies us. 
We'll ask him to calm it down. Everybody else is looking pretty solid. We'll ask for the creativity in the early going. We're going to go up to balanced. There we are. They are marking tight. We're not diving into tackles. Plays it back. We've got the press on. Oh, picked away by Collins, and he slots it home, his 10th of the season. And the press makes him fumble the ball away. That is huge. Very good job. Very good job. We're going to praise him off of that effort. Tell you what, let's bring Anyembe in. We don't see him play a lot, but we do have a yellow card back there. So let's go ahead and do that. And 75th minute, you guys know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to ask him to slow the pace down. Let's give him the praise. All right, Anyembe. Keeper makes the grab. Oh, there could have been a foul. Oh, it's a penalty. Holy crap. They fouled our striker. Nice, and it's going to be Mitchell lining up for the penalty, and he slots it home three to one. Oh, that's great. Let's jump into tactics and in possession. Let's play for set pieces, and let's take off run at defense. Just, you know, kill more time, kill more time. I am liking that. We have really rebounded. Can't believe, I don't know that I have ever seen that play where somebody goes up against the keeper for a header and gets fouled for a penalty. That's pretty awesome. Nice drop in pass to Ids. Back to Anyembe. Downs, reverses it to Wharton. There's a ball into Mitchell. And he pops it. There's the rebound header. Collins with his second of the game and 11th of the season. And we have turned this into a lopsided affair. Let's go ahead and praise him here down the stretch. Confident, fired up. I'd like to not give up another one here. Oh, there we go. Defensive play. Over the top. Oh, they're into the attack. Dangerous. Oh, what a tackle. Who was that? Anyembe. Wow. He just dove right in front of that ball. Took one for the team. There's a nice ball over the top. Ids can't make the run. Easily secured by Dewhurst. Let's just get to the whistle here, boys. Good tackle. La Quintana, seeing some good defense today. I'm more impressed with the defense, I think, than, than the offense. Oh, there's another good defensive play. Come on. Headed out. Nice job. And there we go. So we end up with a uh, 15 to 10 advantage on shots. Could have been better on target, but we had eight chances created and scored four goals. I don't think there's anything I can pick out wrong with uh, with that effort. Quality of possession. Green, uh, I'm sorry, Collins, player of the match. Superb. Let's jump into the squad right here real quick so you guys can take a look at the updated. 11 goals for Collins, 10 for Ids. And that's 11 and 12 for Collins. You would not expect that with those kind of star ratings, would you? But that's why I'm putting him in over Hamilton, who's got one and two. In fact, I'm wondering if I should put him, but uh, yeah, Ids. Oh, did I mention this last episode? I may have. If I did, I apologize. But I remember, and I don't remember with the transfer window because I was doing some recording that I scrapped and just threw those into this video, but... 
I noticed that Ids is a bona fide wonder kid. I don't think we have had a wonder kid in Football Manager 20. I don't think we have signed one. So this was huge. I was like, wow. <laughs> so very, very happy with that. So just wanted to make sure we pointed that out. And we come back here for Bournemouth here in just a second. Still looking for our first win against Bournemouth. We've only played them once. Uh, but uh, 46 degrees and calm. Just about, uh, what is that? 600 shy of capacity at Ashton Gate. We're actually doing really well in attendance this year. I'm so excited. Uh, of course, we'll never see the new stadium. It's going to take too long. Uh, we are under, we're actually slight favorites. Mm, I'm going to go back to cautious to start. We are going to start with this one. Yeah, they're playing one up top. I like to ask my, my guy there. Uh, yep, Collins, you're in. Let's bring Vieira in for downs. Oh, and Pavlovich is in on the left side for McGinley, who goes to the bench. And our other guy, uh, Mar Marcos Rogerio, is out for another two weeks. What's he got? Uh, groin muscle uh, back in mid-January. So forgot to mention that. Uh, Lowry did not play well last outing. McGinnis is injured. I'm going to give Bidstrup a start. We've got uh, Corbo in here. He's in the mix now. That's who I was looking for as well was Corbo. New guys trying to remember their name. But I want to see Bidstrup in here. Let's give him, I believe this is his debut, yeah? It is. So debut outing. Pavlovich. Matt Sharpness. Let's get to it, boys. Don't like... I really wish... I really wish... Uh, I had mentioned this before, but... Kit design. I wish you could pick out kit coloration... Uh, in FM21. I just think that... You know, I have new kits every year. You know, and you could even have presets. Mitchell charges in. Cannot find the finish. But boy, we look dangerous there for just a second. Ask for some creativity. It's headed away. Ids tracks it down. There's Bilotti. Oh, it's into Ids. Crossed in. Locked away. Oh, there's our new guy. He plays it back calmly. He's inspired. He's playing a 6-8 in the early going. Oh man. That was a uh that was a brutal move. Get it out. Oh. He did that their striker there did a good job to get the foot on the ball. And then unlucky for us that it rebounded right to him and he hit the post good defense Pilotti it goes out of bounds come on fellas oh that was a dangerous header just goes over the bar I am wondering let's pop in here. Let's ask him to work into the box again. See if that'll give us a little bit better conversion on our on targets. I mean, you can't score if they're not on target, right? Kenisevich is on a yellow. Struggled for possession in the opponent's half. Do it for the fans. Unlucky so far. Oh, that's not what I asked. That's not what I wanted to do. I just screwed up the uh, individual talk. Get creative. Uh, hold on. Craig Mitchell's on a 5-8. No, no, can't have that. You're off. Tell you what, let's bring Hamilton on. 
and then we'll drop ids back. And then Hamilton is left footed, so let's swap those guys. Yeah, he wasn't looking good at all. I didn't notice that at the half. Um, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, good ball. And Mitchell. With a foul in the box. And we were pulling him off, too. Oh, it's saved. No, Mahov with the save. Huge. Mitchell does pick up a yellow. And he is off the field. Kinsevich is not looking good either. Let's bring downs on for him. Oh, they beat our defense and get to the ball. Let's uh, let's demand more. We're going to go up to balanced. We are losing possession, but... All right, head it out, clear the back line. Oh my God, Ake with his third of the season. I was not happy with what I just saw there. Let's watch that replay because it looked like, all right, Ake's here. Head it out. All right, watch these three guys here. They're going to charge out and then they're going to drift off and leave him alone. Look at that. Pavlovich. And they came back to him, but boy, they left a whole gap there. Um, we're going to have to go positive and push forward. Um, bid strip for... I guess Vitasevich is going to be the only one that we can do there. Actually, hold on, hold on. You know what? Let's take that off. Is he playing badly? He's not. He's not going to start every game. Let's let him play. I'm going to pull Collins off. My God, let's give Kamara his debut. He has scored a lot of goals and looked very dangerous. Show some passion. We're not going to get a highlight out of him. That's too bad. We didn't play badly. Four chances created, but we didn't score. Would have liked a little bit better showing, but yeah, disappointing. Well, there's our first loss in a minute. Kamara makes his debut. Bidstrup and Pavlovich also made debuts. So let's see, let's finish the day here. And we are still eighth position, 10 back. Again, I, we're not going to make Europe this year. We're not. It's just not going to happen. But staying up, staying up is the big thing. So 36 points, we're 15 up. So still five matches for them just to catch us in points for relegation. I'm liking that. We are looking good in good form. So let's go ahead and power through a chunk of the season. I don't think a bottom of the table matchup, Everton in 20th. Wow, is that real? 11 points, Everton looking at relegation this year. Wow. And they, uh, they're the ones that approached us for, one at them? Or was it Newcastle? I think it was Newcastle. For, uh, approached us for a job interview uh, around the first of the year. I turned it down. Where do we come back? I think, uh, I mean, could we be the ones that secure Everton's relegation? Wow. That would be interesting. And then we come back for, you know, Liverpool second in the table. Second first might be interesting, but that just sets us up for a double loss episode, doesn't it? But I th we're going to come back for Chelsea and Leicester. 
for the season end. We've already seen Tottenham beat the hell out of us. Yeah, let's plan on coming back for uh, Everton, Liverpool, and then we'll wrap up the season uh, in the following episode. So hit the like button, subscribe, all the things that you guys know. Appreciate you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.